So I'm in this uh, Valencia Atletico Bilbao game, and uh, the score's gone one nil. First shot on target, but um, to be honest, it has uh, sort of looked like it. Uh, the goal was coming because uh, Valencia were pushing quite hard. So I'm going to watch this game a little longer and then uh, decide what to do. I'll be back shortly. So the uh, <coughs> game is is really uh, quite lively and. Um, beginning to open up end to end uh, often the case after a goal so I am um, just laying off this 1-0 I probably will lay it off quite quickly and um, I'll come back to you when there's a bit more action so uh, I was basically um, basically had decided to lay off this 1-0 which I had largely had done I, I sort of Occasionally you get caught because you want to hang on till half time, and um, you know it's about a minute to go, and uh, I didn't quite get this last twenty pounds laid off. But we're not in a bad position now because I've got uh, sort of a twenty-two pound liability on two nil, which is the current score. And if it goes to two one or three nil, I've got some profit on that, which I can then decide to lay off or um, stick with. Um, and uh, it's uh, it's quite an interesting game there. <clears throat> yeah, Valencia had about four shots on target. It didn't <laughs> these graphics here at the um, bookmakers? You often find them. They obviously useful in some respects. You can look at possession, that kind of thing. But um, you know, the goals looked like they were coming. And yet the um, shot count it wasn't particularly particularly high, uh, so it's always always as I say, I keep saying it's um, got to really. I, I certainly think you've got to got to watch the game. So um, anyway, so I'll uh, let half time um, finish, and we're into the second half. I'll come back with anything interesting. Thanks a lot. So, uh, yeah, so <clears throat> second half is underway. It's really just a case of deciding whether to lay some of this 2 nil. I don't really want to increase the liability too much on that. Um, and I'm really looking for another goal to be scored a little bit later in the, or a fair bit later in this half. Uh, that may or obviously may not happen. Um, and that will be really fairly crucial to the profits that we'll hopefully, hopefully achieve here. So, um, I'll be back when um, there's a bit more action. So um, <clears throat> Athletic are um, uh, doing a fair bit of attacking now. They've also made substitutions and they've brought on some some firepower. And uh, so you wouldn't it wouldn't surprise you if the next goal came from Athletic, or indeed if there was another goal, maybe a Valencia on the break. But it's all Athletic at the moment. Um, <clears throat> so. There is a there's a, a, a small profit here or a reason profit figure here, but I'm going to just hang in there and um, you know if I end up scratch, uh, I'll probably uh, back this at a slightly later stage in the game if I need to, uh, or take some of the two one and three nil uh, away uh, that profit away and um, use it to to cover that two nil. Um, but at the moment, the game is it's kind of gone the way. I have a sort of model in my head based on the um, my ratings, and at the moment, the game has kind of followed that because even though Athletic are like twelve points above Valencia in the league, uh, I think the um, Athletic are in about eighth position and Valencia in fifteenth. Uh, I did have th this did it sh my rating showed you know goals for Valencia maybe you know two, two nil three nil uh, surprisingly so. I kind of went with that tentatively. You can always change if the game doesn't look like it's going that way. But if it kind of follows my model, then I'll um, generally stick with it. So um, I'll be back shortly. Uh, so the <coughs> match is progressing. 63rd minute. Um, the <laughs> Unfortunately for Athletic, they've um, used all their subs and then had an injury. So they're actually down to 10 men. And... Uh, it's a little bit hard to call now because it's unlikely that Athletic will come back uh, from that. And um, 
but is it likely that Valencia are going to push for that third goal? Uh, they don't need it and they can just comfortably try and keep possession and um, just pass the ball around. So it may be that <clears throat> I might equalise this um, profit that I've got and when it gets to very short odds, lay a bit back on um, the 2-0 if it, if, it, if, it, if Athletic look like they're tiring. Um, but I'll probably just uh, I'll probably just hang in there a bit longer, just keep an, an eye on Valencia, see what they're doing, and uh, you know maybe they'll decide to attack again. But at the moment they're just passing the ball everywhere except forward. So I'll um, be back shortly. So it's all um, Valencia at the moment. Uh, it looks like it's going to be a very uh, quite a long afternoon for Athletic now. I've actually laid off so much so I've laid off this two-one. Uh, um, so I don't, I don't, I won't make much if it sticks on two one. I've got tiny profit on the other scores. I've still got big profit on three nil, which I'll probably begin to lay off that, lay that off fairly shortly. And you can always uh, put a bit back on two one as the price drifts. You know, another, another, you know, uh, what minute are we in now? Um, yeah, another fifteen minutes, and this this two one will probably be getting quite big. Um, in the last last few minutes of the game, if you're worried, you can stick a few quid back on two one at a uh, much bigger price. But I'll um, as I say, I'll watch and uh, come back and hope uh, if there is a goal, it goes the right way. <coughs> so um, yeah, I've decided to take a little bit of profit out of this game on the two nil because obviously the uh, plan that I had wasn't um, wasn't. Uh, that um, Athletic would be down to um, <laughs> down to ten men, and uh, it's kind of changed the way this game is being played. Having said that, they nearly just pop one in. But um, so I'll just, you know, if a, if a goal does go in, and it goes doesn't go for me. It's just one of those things, and I'll obviously hope that it does go three nil at some point um, to get the um, the bigger profit than the two one. And I may still lay back a bit more this 3-0. Uh, I'll just try and wait a little bit longer. So uh, just one point of interest, because the uh, of the situation with Athletic uh, playing with 10, these 3-0 um, odds are staying quite depressed. Um, it's, it's getting on a bit now. We're in the about 78th, 79th minute, and um, they're still quite low. So it's quite quite beneficial really because it gives you the opportunity to stay in the match longer for not a huge cost um, if you do want to uh, come out um, and I'll probably you know I might take a bit I'll probably take a, take this down a bit try and increase my profit on 2 or just or just back back 2-0 um, pretty soon actually because uh, game's nearly over thanks a lot so uh, yeah I've, I've kind of pretty much finished with, with this game now it's um Valencia have come very very close with a couple of chances they're a little bit half-hearted the game but still they've managed to um get close so I've, I've I'll leave that 2-1 as it is I might put a couple of quid on odds of around 50 or something in the last last few minutes but um the uh two nils virtually were expiring quite quickly and uh I'll hope for a, a three nil result um, in the last few minutes. The, um, the I suppose the lesson here is that um, two nil was never a score that I had had in mind, and yet still uh, we've got a, a bit of profit on there. So um, it's not not a perfect not a perfect day, but um, fairly happy with my decision making. And yeah, as you say, you never know whether you should be really know whether you should be putting more on the on the current score but um you know overall the game's pretty well stuck to the way i thought it would go so i suppose you know three nil is always possible but then there's the um the little bit little downside of athletic um kind of doing a bit of damage limitation and valencia not needing not needing a third goal not going for it as they um might have done because they're comfortable against the uh against a 10-man team. So uh, that is really that. I'll come back if anything else happens in the last few minutes. Thank you.
So in the end, yeah, just quickly in the end, it was uh, a 2-0 two -nil, two -nil, uh, win to Valencia. Score stayed as it was. Valencia had some three-on-one, had certainly one three-on-one opportunity and just a um, little over-exuberance, miscontrolled the ball and probably <clears throat> and missed what you know should have been a goal. So they had their chances. Um, but uh, you've got to remember this 2-0 had a, I think it was a, a 200 pound liability so it was minus 200 on 2-0 that's ended up as a 106 pound profit and um, obviously if I was betting on the game I'd be minus 200 there would have been nothing I could do about it but because we can watch games and trade uh, in play now um, you can change uh, change your um, <coughs> strategies a change of view um, throughout the 90 minutes uh, also note that um, I thought uh, one at one stage of the video I mentioned that I didn't think 2-1 was very likely so I've boosted this profits by laying back 40 or 50 pounds on 2-1 um, which was probably sitting out at around four or five hundred pounds uh, because I didn't it just didn't look like athletic were going to um, get back into it so um, yeah not the ideal result but certainly uh, not unhappy with the way I traded that and um, hope it was uh, hope it was useful to some of you thanks a lot